<laughs> so NFT worlds. There's this NFT that there's this you know grids of pieces of plots of Minecraft world and they're they're, they're smart contracts with or there's seeds that tie to these coordinates on Minecraft world. So <clears throat> people's like, man, that's bullshit. It's just a seed that ties to a coordinate. How you gonna sell that as an NFT? Aha. What they did decentralized the hell out of it. So they put hella layers of decentralized uh ecosystems on top of this contract to there is now. Now you're playing Minecraft, but now these in game tokens and in game uh payments and in game items are now NFTs and uh tokens that can be distributed for USDT and you know whatever you want to convert it to later in your favorite exchange app. So now it's a real ecosystem oh, where you're running around making money and selling shit and building shit. So I bought a couple plots and I want to make a on my creative plot land, I want to build like. It's a lot of water. It's all water in this one, but I could build like this underground bunker as well. So I want to like have like an underground like concert hall, but like also a place. I don't know. I don't know. I'm building it now. So maybe I'm thinking about doing some lives where I can, I'll just build some stuff out and play some of the actual NFT games I'll be playing. I think I'm going to call it, uh, I think I'm going to call it, uh, Blocked in. Blocked in. Blockchain games. Locked in on blockchain. Yeah, you see what I did? I like it. Like a I'm, Twitch I'm going channel or something? Hmm? Like a Twitch channel? Oh, I mean, we're on Twitch now, but I'm just talking about like a, a show. Like, okay, we just swapped this from Pub Talk title to... A segment, a segment on Pub Talk. I was talking about a different show, but... He's talking about a whole different thing. Yeah, but we could we could do that. We can we can have a segment where we're just playing games and or even just episodes where we're just playing uh blockchain games and talking. Cause that mirror four, like I keep I do it. I do it a lot. All right. I played that. By the way, I, I, I did download one of those games. I caught that. myself that time. <laughs> I did download that game by the way, and I did play it. It was like a side, like a like a fighting game, right? And it was like a left and right type of. No, no. Was that it? No. Or maybe that it was, was a different one. It was, was one of the ones that you game. sent me. Yeah, but that was the loading. That was the loading screen. Like you were downloading it. You still got to download it. Like oh, oh. Uh, okay. I'll show you what the hell it is, bro. This game is. This game is so cool. That's what I, uh, I think you should, uh, because you was looking for a game that you can just let play as well. I yeah. think this is the one you're looking for. Oops. I think this is which the one you're looking for. I just got loaded up. It's such a cool game. This is the one where you got to create the uh, character and. Oops. Hold on, I got to move this screen. Oh my god, I think I just got too much stuff open. Close the program. Cancel. Um. Oh man. But this is the one where you cre you create your uh, NFT character. And they just announced the Mirage Metaverse. So, uh, Mirror 4, you gotta create your player. Once you create your player, you uh, power that character up to level 60 and then 100 power score. And once you play the game, you understand that a little bit more. But once you get to that point, you can actually transfer it into a NFT. And the NFT is now stakeable in the Mirage world where you could battle for position to just stake and earn money. So, so other characters too, you can battle them to take their position in a staking farm. <sighs> okay, I, I think it's not playing fair right now because I just got like streaming shit and <laughs> like everything open at once right now in new window <laughs> but oh, yeah but definitely I something to check out my... you pulled on your computer yeah very dope very dope game it's so fun to play and the dope part about it is at the beginning from like the for like the first at least I don't know I would say 20 levels 
you could put that shit on auto battle and just run that shit in the background and just run your numbers up. And you can do that all through the game, but it, it starts to, you know, it starts diminishing after a while where it's just better for you to play in certain places. But they have quest modes, of course, where you can do a lot of auto battle, auto questing stuff where as long as your character is strong enough to go through it by themselves, then they'll get through it. But the game is so, it's so dope. It's so dope. I mean, I'm into that Asian culture. I think it's a South Korean based game. And I just, I love it. It's, and it, it's such a dark, and I love how dark their storylines are too. It's, it's such a dark storyline. Oh, you just pulled it up. Yeah. And this is where you can, um, I actually got some Draco staked here as well. Where and they, oh, Okay, so that's part of the game as well, is you, you're, you're, um, you're mining Draco throughout the game as well, and that's the purple gem you see there. And Draco is actually on the uh, exchange. You could buy it and trade it on the exchange. It's, uh, this is on the Wii Chill. Wii. Oh, the console? Wii Mix. I think it's Wii Mix. No, we mix no the we mix um blockchain. It's the token they use. We mix blockchain, and it's we made. Yeah, there's some awesome shit, like. yeah no. <laughs> but they just came out with the metaverse where it's, it's uh they're trying to make it a whole three D like full experience. Oh, and that's another thing about the Minecraft. Just to jump back to Minecraft for two seconds. They coming out with a quest craft where you're able to play Minecraft on the Oculus. So you add <laughs> 3D Minecraft with metaverse um, blockchain play to earn gaming and you got yourself a full time job. Mm -hmm. There's people making like twenty six. Uh, I've been hearing a lot. Like... What are you about to say? So there's people making like twenty six hundred dollars a week right now on Discord right now, just running around on people's plots. You know, the people hire because now that I have plots, I can whitelist people onto my plots as members to be able to play on my plot of land and earn money and earn uh, uplithium, which is in this game is uplithium, which can be converted and traded and staked and so for uh, Dow. So you, you earn money by people playing on your plot. I earn money by just having the plot and earn money by people playing on the plot. I don't have anybody playing on it, right? I literally just got them. Um, but that's, I just found out that's one of the options where I could whitelist people to play on my plot because it's still in alpha mode. Like all this, all all these games that I have is all early access. Like all this stuff that I, like it's, it's should, like unless you search for it, you wouldn't know about it yet, pretty much. So I'm already staking. I don't think I heard too much about this one. Hmm? So I don't think I heard too much about this one. At all. And it's billions of dollars being thrown through it right now. Oh, this reminds me of a this reminds me of a mobile game I used to play real heavy. Oh, that's what a lot of people are trying to do now. Yeah. And it's yeah, so, I like these old games. It's not even in English yet. It has English subtitles right now, but it's like it's no English. That's good, right? <laughs> so I got some. You can stake it right on there. I got some staked. I've made some good. You know, it's the money is accumulating. You know what I mean? Like it's it's uh, I with a lot of these things, I just put a little bit of money in just to see if it worked, and it worked. Like it may be a couple dollars here and there, but you know it works. And if I use that same concept and put ten thousand instead of one hundred, you know, right? And I'm and I and I've just been following all these wells. I'm messing with these wells. Like real talk, I'm talking to these people who's making the games, who's sitting. Like I'm I, I'm sitting in their Twitter space. I'm up at four thirty every morning. I'm sitting in their Twitter spaces and their Discord uh, chats and their. Uh, and they're and they're in all their chats listening in. I'm I'm checking out everything, man. And these people are 
100 miles and gunning. And these and these uh, groups are very small. These groups are very small for the technology that we're playing with. You're talking about like two, 3,000 people on your Discord and you talking about changing the world over here? I feel like I'm early. You see what I mean? Yeah. Like, you talking about still trying to pass out DAO tokens? You, you this is this organization hasn't even been verified yet. You were in the process of verifying, and I got the option of even receiving DAO tokens. That's where I'm at. Like I'm trying to get into these communities where I'm solidified in it, not just a consumer or just a user. You can't be both, though. You know, There's I want to be that. both, but I. I some you're some you're communities money on both sides. I, I, exactly some communities i'm starting to the consumer because i can't I, I can't buy myself in other communities i'm able to buy myself in and then go to the consumer side like mirror four i i don't have a hundred thousand dollars to buy an nft so i gotta i'm on the consumer side right now i'm working myself in i'm grinding it out trying to get to that side and I love it. Does it cost play or is it free to just start? Free to start. Well, okay. Because some of them joints, you have to like buy in to even start playing. And, and, uh, and once you start doing that, you start understanding that that's... Is, I play a game called Splinterlands. You should get into that. We should definitely get into that. That's huge. Waka Flocka just got into it. They just signed a deal with Warner Brothers. Um, <clears throat> I'm on their Discord. I actually talked to them about working for them and for marketing. I want to get into them doing marketing with them. They just signed a deal with Warner Brothers that, uh, or Warner Music Group. I can't hear you. What you say? Nah, I said collectible card games under my breath. I wasn't... Oh, I'm like I'm just seeing your lips move. Like, yeah, it's like it's kind of like a uh, like a Magic the Gathering or like a Pokemon, but like Savage. Ad. It's it's dope. Like I've been so into it that they actually. Uh, Evelina's parents bought me some packs for my birthday. <laughs> like, cause I didn't know I was talking about it that much. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that but no, yeah. I'm like, it wasn't even a game. It wasn't like Pokemon even, card. Yeah, literally, it wasn't even a Are game. <laughs> it wasn't even a game I was into. It was the the tokenomics. Like, I'm putting money in and yeah. making money like immediately, thirty five percent interest immediately. You know what I mean? Like, it's just. You know what I mean, and, and and it's just, and then you play the game, you get deeper into it. And then I got to the Discord, and I'm like, yo, this is nuts. And then I went to the Digicon, and was checking out all this. Like I've been, when I say I was down some rabbit holes these last few months, I'm telling you, like, this, my bookmarks tell it all. <laughs> my bookmarks is looking ridiculous right now. But this is something you should definitely check out. This is on a high blockchain. They also deal with BNB. That's why I fuck with um, the BNB blockchain. Uh, for these reasons, but Hive is something I'm really into. It's a very, uh, you know, not a large blockchain, but it's a, it, it's just very specialized in what they do. There, it's a, it's more of a social platform. And Hive is, I mean, Splinterlands is blowing up. Splinterlands is something you, should, uh, <laughs> Splinterlands is something you should pay attention to. It's ten dollars to buy yourself in. You get a spell book, and then they set you up with some cards, and then you can learn how to play the game. And then, you know, yeah, if you get interested, I don't interest. know about this. Hmm? I don't know about this. You said spell book. Well, it's just they just call it a spell book. It, it, you know, it's just a membership hey. card, whatever you want to. <laughs> but yeah, then it's, I... I mean, that's one of the, it's, it's 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 uh. Regardless of how involved you want to get into it, you should check it out. Is what I'm saying. Whether you just want to throw some money at it, you know. Yeah. But it's it's growing and it's going to be uh it's gonna be a big game. It's gonna be a big one. It's like Axie Infinity style, but like this really magic one. together. The dude that created it is called Agar. Is Arga Agar? He's gonna kill me if I say Agar. <laughs> but the thing about him is he's some huge. Uh, what is that game? 
War Warcraft. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. He's like a huge World of Warcraft person. Like, and, and he built this game based off of his experiences with that. And they're killing it. They're killing it. You should join their Discord and just check out what's going on with this. They're killing it. Honestly. They're actually, um, talk, they were actually had a town hall meeting today. And we're talking about they will fund people to have physical parties. They'll, they'll, they'll pay for the expenses for people to have physical Splinterland parties. Like, that's how, like, they're really <laughs> breaking in the cake and they're ready to expand. <laughs> And so I have a whole bunch of packs that I haven't opened yet. So once I start doing the block, then you know we st we could do the block then shit, and I could just do a live unveiling of my packs and show people how to actually play the game. And oh, well, with a lot of these games, I could I could pull up the mirror and you know uh, the mirror four and all that good stuff. So and show the uh, the block the, the the blankos. Oh my gosh, you remember I was talking about blankos? Blankos is going crazy now. Blankos. What is that? Blankos. Oh, the coolest fucking game ever. I only played it a few times, but because it's not play to earn. I think it's play to it's earn, but it's like in game tokens. Yeah, that blank goes right there. Early access. They've been developing this game since 2019, and it's still early access. <laughs> Or the animation is fire. The music is crazy. That game is so fun. I only played it a couple times, but it was it's so addictive. Like I'm scared to open it up because I'm you know what I mean. Like I gotta get I gotta get some other shit to do first. I got some you know what I mean. Like I gotta I got some things to get done. <laughs> and people just build games on here and just. Every time you open it, it's a different game. It was like Roblox. I never played Roblox. People keep saying, I don't ever play Roblox. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's like the only game I play and you haven't played Roblox. And literally, like, it's like I had a whole like two months where I was addicted to Roblox. I could not put it down. <laughs> never played Roblox. It's hilarious. Like, but if it's like that, I mean, Roblox sound fun as shit, bro. It's kind of similar. Like, games inside of a game. Like, a whole universe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's the metaverse. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, Roblox is a metaverse. Right. That's why they're trying to create uh, right. the actual currency inside of Roblox as well. And like you was talking about with the uh, the Call of Duty and all that stuff, that's why I was saying, like, that's happening. That stuff is happening. That's why they're trying to work towards it. They're building other games. That's why, like, League of, League of Kingdoms, that's like just any other League of Whatevers. They just had to call it League of Kingdoms because it's a different game. You know what I mean? So it's the same fucking game. Right. They just had to put the, the the centralized layer on top of it, and now you can make money with it. And now I'm playing games like crazy. That's what I kept saying. Like I love video games, but I ain't got time for them. Now I got time. <laughs> now I have time. I'm like work. This is a good use of my time now. I get it. It's productive as hell and fun. Yo, I'm talking about, I'm about to buy a couple of these. How much money are you really making off these games? Or how much money, like, you know? Well, that's I'm not trying to get in your pocket. No, no, that's like, another thing. Is there any type of a correlation to, like, I got to play this much to earn about this much and you have to be, like, okay. For example, really good at the game or have to be, like, <laughs> you know? For example, Mirror 4. You start with you start by paying zero to play the game, um, and then you you rank your character up and become an NFT. And then you either sell your character or whatever you want to do at that point, or stake your character for um, to earn the rewards to go ahead and sell them uh, uh, and earn those rewards and exchange them for money. However you want to do it, so you can take your time and build your character up. But if you feel like that's too much to do it, then go and take your money and go buy an NFT and stake your NFT. So now you, you just spent $30,000, $60,000, and hopefully you make your money back over a certain amount of time. Now you're doing now you're doing math then because now you just put so much in. 
where you could have started with zero. That's Mirror 4. Splinterlands, you can play for free. If you want to make money, which is their SPS, which is a governing token, where you just take off if it's going 12 cents right now, you can take it straight off of there and sell it, no problem, and get your money right away. Which you make, and then uh, the Dark Energy Crystal, which I think is going for like 36 cents or something like that right now, and you earn that, you can take it off there and sell it right away, no problem. So you can make money like that, or you can take your cards and sell them, or you can take open your packs and rent your cards out to other people, and they'll pay you a certain amount of Dark Energy Crystal a day to use your characters, because these are kids that can't afford to play the game anyway. So they'll rent your shit out just to play the game, so they'll use in-game tokens to rent your cards that you can take those actual in-game tokens and take out of the game and get money for them. That's another way to make money there. Or you can take your cards, okay. you open some packs, get some rare cards, and you just sell your cards on the market. That's another way to make money there. So it depends on how you want to make your money. It, it, uh, it depends on how fast you want to make your ten dollars back. That's all, you, that's all you put in, and it was ten dollars, right? Axie Infinity, you're putting right. twelve hundred up to even start playing. So games like that, you're gonna make some more money, but it's, your, your break even line is gonna be a little further away as well. There's games that's coming out right now where the okay. ROI is fucking seven days. The ROI is 20 days, and they're talking about 370%, 2,760% interest. You got to catch those. Those are the things that I'm throwing at people, and it's like, I don't I don't know what to say. Look into it. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. Like, uh, this is, I, I'm, I'm over here busy, too. I need to, like, that's it. Like, yeah. Like yeah. Mirror Four is one of those ones where it's like if you looked into it, you've seen that okay, w w this is play to earn. What do I earn? How do I earn it? Blah 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 blah. Boom. I'm interested or I'm not interested. But that's what I'm throwing. League of, League of Kingdoms the same way. All right, I want to buy some land there, but the land is like sixteen hundred dollars right now. So right now I got to be a consumer until I can, you know, build up enough whatevers, and then chill on a Discord and try to collect up enough whatevers to, to no longer be a consumer. So, but I put zero dollars in to play the game, but I'm earning by collecting resources and creating NFTs and selling the NFTs. I haven't done, I haven't done that yet, but that's a way to earn in a game. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's like either you put a, a chunk of money in and it, it's investing with high yields is what these games are. That's why you pay, pay to get in. Okay, is investing with more work though. <laughs> Sounds it's in, like it's investing with more control over the investment. Because you're playing the game. That's another way to look at it. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely another way because, like you said, like more work you can look at it as more work because there's wells out there and they're like man i gotta claim every fucking hour because if i don't claim every hour i'm gonna lose because you can only claim a certain amount of money every hour from the game and if you don't claim it then you lose that money you know that it's it goes over so they put so much money in it that they gotta keep claiming or they're gonna lose money from so it's like now they, to them it's a game and they gotta create a bot to just keep claiming this shit me, I'm like, I'm checking in a couple of days, nigga. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't, I ain't put that much in it, but it's it's collecting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. It's just super high yields. So, find a game you like. And that's what it comes down to. Find a game you like, invest in it, and make some money the way you want to make some money. You like fucking Call of Duty? Go play Call of Duty, win your skins, and sell the skins. Now you're spending 30 hours that you would have spent anyway playing a game you like. And now you have a, a whole shop full of skins that you can put on my uplift plot in my store that I can build on there and sell them to people there. Because in the metaverse, everything you own goes with you everywhere. See that? I see that? I gotta find. I gotta find a game. I guess I gotta get into. That's I don't know. 
You just find something you like. I don't, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know the game thing is for me. Like, I got, I don't know. If I see something that appeals to me, I'm just, I just, I don't want to spend my time doing other things and playing video games. And this is like, I don't want to spend, I don't want to have like a second job. I want to have no job. You know what I'm saying? And I keep like so you- getting weary of these other ways to make money where I'm just like, even with day trading, at some point I was like, damn. I still gotta pretty much be up eight to eleven. Yeah, so how Monday how, through Friday? This is still kind of like a mini job. Like damn, like you know, this is still kind of. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I was kind of like, eh. but that's you know, like I, I don't know if I really like care for that part. Like, what if you if you just had like long term investments and you're just staking and it's like you're just like a bank, and that's like no job. Like it's I, like you know or I shit like that. Bots. You know, I'm telling you, right? Yeah. I have bots that trade for me. And I have NFTs that sit in places that earn rewards. Is that not what you're talking about? Because you can buy an NFT for ten thousand dollars. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the gaming specifically. No, I'm, I'm telling you why the game doesn't appeal to me the most. I'm not saying that you're not doing it. No, I'm, I'm saying, saying particularly the gaming. Nah, that no, no, exists. I'm just telling you why the gaming doesn't appeal to me the most because I'm looking for more passive results. So like some of the other things that you admit, like having bots and shit like that, yeah, that that is more passive, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like the gaming, yeah. I'm just saying that that's why that's part of the reason why the gaming doesn't appeal okay. to me as much because like, well, I feel like I got to do a lot of shit. That's and what I'm I don't saying. really so want to do saying, that. How would you want to make money? <laughs> yeah. How could you pa- passively? How could you? Very no, passive. I'm talking about how would you how what would that passive be and how could you make it passive? What would that action be and how could you make it passive? You want to make you want to make money day trading, but you want to make it as passive as possible. So you want to make money day trading. So what you would use a bot. So it if you want to make money, how would you want to make it? And then we can figure out a way to automate it and make it passive. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's, yeah, just trying to figure out what's what's gonna work the best. I, I'm definitely like, I've been looking into like nodes and staking a lot. Um. I figure out like you know which one of those I probably might want to invest into, but it's just, it's just a lot of information, so I'm just taking that shit in, not trying to like you know dive into nothing too quick. Uh, but now the gaming shit is cool though. Don't get me wrong, and I'm still I'm keeping my eyes open. It's just you know, it's like I like I said, it's just that yeah, it depends. Like it's like how much am I earning, and then is it is it really worth it as opposed to if I was just putting my money into staking or nodes or like some more power just swing trading and then the market just buying crypto and, and doing that like is that a better investment on my time or is like am i better off sitting here and actually playing this game for x amount of hours or or doing whatever at my desk where i could be working on xyz it's just, you know it's like opportunity cost right and when it comes so. to games there are different levels to these games there are games that are just strictly staking like you can buy a creeps NFT and then stake your creeps NFT and then earn like two hundred dollars a day. But you're gonna pay for that creep. You can get a node. You can get a gala node right now. That gala node is right. It's going crazy. That gala node is gonna cost you like a hundred thousand. Or even I thought about getting a miner. I know we talked about the miner thing before. I, I, even a miner. Like, even a miner. Yeah, is great. That miner sounds great. Like mine some <laughs> Ethereum or some shit. Like. But the upfront that to me is gonna be like, there, and the energy you gotta have, you gotta be able to be find that right, for sure. So you know I mean, so it's, it's, for sure, and that's what I mean. It's like the metaverse, literally, and this Web three and all this shit is just giving you a lot of options of how to making a living doing whatever the fuck you love to do. Like you know what I mean? Like whatever it is, do a little research. Yeah, I I, sure. I bet you'll find it. I don't know. I, I found them. It's just there's I'm options. The there's too many. It's almost too many options. Like, oh yeah, just oh yeah, yeah. it's the options. I think it's just to me that that's the only reason why I haven't jumped into a lot of shit. Cause it's like, oh, what about this one? Oh, what about this one? What about it's like, I'm trying YouTube. Which one's the best yeah. one? And the, you know what I mean? Like, cause I don't know, have no one I can talk to in my real life that would know. So I just have to Google and Reddit and Discord and all these. You know, like, yeah. yeah. That's why I leave a whole. It's almost like you have to kind of be risky. Like inherently, yeah. like yeah, like yeah. um, you know it's crazy because like we were just talking about the other day, and you remember I mentioned the term digital vinyl when I was talking about sound SoundCloud. Um, I was checking out this place, this this uh, that that was actually by the creators of Uplift and all these other apps I was looking at, 
and it's called uh Yoshi Yoshi Drip or Yoshi Drop. And they was talking about it's bit pretty much like the digital vinyl. And Yoshi drops it if you if your wallet holds a certain token, every time there's a drop, you get either access to buy it, the exclusive, or it just drops it to your wallet. And they have the option to get digital vinyls, and digital vinyls are like the digital version of some artwork, the music, some some you know, some some content with it, some background, like an EPK pretty much, but as an NFT and shit. And I was like, that was crazy that you just find that after talking about it. You know, it's like, so there's something out there for, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, the shit's yeah, out there. The yeah. shit's out there. It's crazy. Like, yeah. people are creating shit out of thin air right now, and I love it. It's the time. It's definitely the time. Everything's goofy right now. So if you had a goofy idea, now's the time to get that shit the fuck off. Yep. For real. Yep. Like, because <laughs> it might not even be that goofy. It might be the next thing, you know, so... That's what I'm saying. Everybody's running around trying to figure out how to make money in the metaverse. There's a million ways to make money in the metaverse. You know, it's just like you said. It's like how do you want to too make many it? ways? There's too it's many. Almost ways. too many ways. And that it, it, I remember it, it, was just buy Bitcoin, buy it. I remember it was just you know like now it's like it's just way too many options. You got to know exactly what you want to do. You get to start over. You know, though. you get to start over because it's a whole. It's a brand new world. It's a brand new world. So. Every single job that is needed in the real world is going to be needed in the metaverse times like fucking a thousand. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be wild out there. And I'm excited. I believe that. I'm excited. I'm excited. And that's why I be even looking at these, like, like, I'm, I love gaming. I hate wasting my time playing games. So that's why I think the game, uh, the play to earn shit is perfect. Cause I don't know how to relax. I have a problem relaxing. Right. I don't know how to chill. So this is it's a way for me to feel late. like I'm chilling, right? It's, <laughs> it's like a sneaky way to right. trick me into chilling, but I'm still being productive. Like I get that for sure. Yeah. And like, not only that, but the gaming sector in general I think everyone knows like for a while now that you can make money playing video games. Like we've all seen it. You know, you can be a YouTuber, you can compete in leagues, you can, you know, you we've all that seen that shit. Halo. That's the difference. You need that audience or you had to be really, really, really fucking good to even get a shot to win a little bit of money. Right. If they can scale that shit down to the point where you win a dollar to for a game or you win a couple bucks here and there, imagine how that changes everything. Even if it's just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like that changes the whole perspective of oh, I sat down here today and I made twenty bucks today gaming or what you know, like whatever. Like it completely changed shifts the whole thing. Yep. There's games that play so. that uh pay for skill level and there's games that pay for your attention. Like a lot of these NFT world games are just gonna be paying for your attention. Like just come in the game. You're and on the play. platform. Yep. That's how okay. a lot of these games yeah. are like san- san- That makes a lot of sense too. The centralized makes a lot world. Of sense. If you just sign your wallet here and hang out for a while, we'll reward you. That's staking. Yo, keep this NFT right. in your wallet. Don't sell it. Don't move it. Just keep it with you. Just make sure that because what they want is market share. What's market share right now? How many wallets you are possessed in? That's why you're being staked. If nobody got you in their wallet, Yeah. Do you exist? Not in the metaverse. Not in the metaverse. Maybe in the real world. <laughs> on paper, <laughs> on somebody's computer, but... Right. Maybe you have a store somewhere, I don't know. Right. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> exactly. It's like, I don't... Because <laughs> that's going to be the next thing. It's going to be like, it's not even going to be how many likes you got. It's like, how many wallets you in? I mean, you don't even know how the wallets. It's like, even the... Like that, uh, that that what that that um crypt, that Coinbase commercial that popped up in the Super Bowl. How many wallets they in now? How many wallets they got? the now? website, right? How many wallets they got now? Yeah, yeah. And that's the whole gaming thing. And that's what that's what I be talking about with the gaming. Is the gaming is the fastest way to hit a billion wallets. That's what they're going for. 
Everybody plays games. Candy Crush, Tic Tac Toe, Words with Friends. Those are the games that I was gonna say the Candy Crush and like digital horse racing, I think is gonna be huge because people are already that. super into that for some strange reason. Like D rate like D race and um Zed Run and all that shit, but like I still think there's a ton of because there's a few of them that haven't even dropped. That like that's just gonna be crazy. Polygon like, one. I'm, just... I'm 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 like you bullish on Solana. I'm bullish on Polygon so hard. Like when it comes to that, I'm bullish on Polygon too. Well, Ethereum, I'm bullish on Polygon too. Ethereum is the base uh as the base blockchain, but Polygon is like Polygon is top five for me for sure. Yeah, they're doing so much. But Polygon probably number two for me. Top five. Top five. I named like eight it in my head real quick. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> like, it depends on what you're using it for. Because I got some Zcash. People don't even know about Zcash yet, but that shit went from $88 to $125 in the last fucking week. And I'm glad I got in on that. Zcash is going to be... Uh, I'm big on this ZK roll-up technology. It's going to be huge, especially with gaming and having to be able to uh, move money quickly from games to uh, to uh, anything or move anything quickly to anything. Z ZK technology is going to change the game as far as trans uh, transfers go. ZK technology, ZK rollups is pretty much the problem with um, base blockchains is that they're expensive and slow. Because the main thing that base blockchains are concerned with is security and authenticity. Everything else is secondary. So these level two layers like uh, Matic, which is Polygon, um, they're, they're faster but less secure. Still secure, but less secure because, you know, a little less checks and balances to, to get through the gate. So what ZK Rollups do is take a thousand of these Matic L2 transactions uh, and, 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 and check them all at once before sending them down to the second layer or to the base layer. So instead of paying $50 every single time you do one transaction on the Ethereum um, base layer, now you're taking, you're taking that whole pack of thousand, and then you're taking it to the base layer, and then you take that base layer, and then you probably take like seven packs on that base layer, put them all together into one transaction on Ethereum. So now you got seven thousand transactions being done for fifty dollars instead of one. That's what ZK Rollups is gonna do. That's gonna change the oh, game. Oh, will that be get like a layer three? Hmm? Three, technically then. Will that make it like a layer three then? No, ZK rollup is just the technology being used on layer two. Layer two is actual is the actual ecosystem where people where stuff will actually live. And the ZK rollups is a type of power source that can be used to move things through layer two to layer one. An expressway on the bridge, I guess you could say. Okay, okay. The easy path. Thank you for that. Yeah. You know, you know like an easy path. <laughs> like, <"Man>, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> in regular terms, like right. I still be lost with a lot of this shit, like. So yeah, okay. So pretty much, layer two would be like coming from one city, hopping on the highway and going to do a, a turnpike, and then you get to the turnpike. And all seven cars all jump into one bus and then go through with one easy pass. So the so easy pass that, would be the Z cat. Exactly. Oh. That'll be the ZK roll up, would be the easy pass. So instead of all seven cars paying to get through this toll, we all just gather in. We all check each other's bus passes. Everything cool here. Everybody's on this bus is verified. We go through here, we verify this whole bus one time. Instead of having to verify seven different cars, and boom, now we all threw it one easy pass. Right. Makes sense. And that's going to be um, that's going to be so important, especially when you're talking about gaming and getting money from a game to your wallet quickly. 
and how many times you're going to want to move money from your game to your wallet, especially on Polygon or Ethereum. I'm not paying $50 every single, you know what I mean? Like, or how many transactions would actually go through on that, uh, that blockchain. So that not only makes your fee cheaper, but it also makes it blockchain faster because it's less transactions going through that small ass block. So you're rolling up a thousand transactions to one transaction. Now you got night. If that block can hold a thousand transactions, now that block can hold a million transactions, right? Yeah, it sounds efficient. I get that. We need to do that in a damn city. Right. Reduce traffic. I mean, that's what it's literally what it is. Ethereum's a city. Like, imagine if everyone just <laughs> took the bus instead of having individual cars. Like, there'd be no traffic ever. Boom. It'd be COVID <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> It'd be COVID everywhere, but niggas be on time, though. Niggas be on time. <laughs> It'd be the quickest COVID lines ever. Everybody come in at once. We all together. We all ready. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -mm. But I really believe that that's the goal with this gaming and shit. I think they could have did it a million different ways, but I, I believe that so many people play games that this is the quickest way to a million, a billion wallets. Wait till, wait till, wait till. People already tapped in with that. Wait till Google switch hit the switch. Say Google. They talking about adding a crypto wallet feature to the Google accounts. 